All right, so today we got a fun one up, man. We got to go ahead and get into some life proof protection, all right? And not the life proof C. I know we did that case. That's a little bit more on the general protection side, but this time we got to go ahead and get into the waterproof version. And that's going to be the old school fray free. They got that little accent mark, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But let's go ahead and get into it. This should be a fun one, man, because we know one thing about this case is it's waterproof and it's all of the proofs. And we will be testing that out because we will be submerging this thing right here in some water. All right. So shot life proof for dropping me these this case the late next case in the all the life proof cases yeah life proof sent them out so i appreciate them man so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging now i've already have taken this case out of the packaging but we'll kind of get into that when we go ahead and get into that section all right life proof waterproof with magsafe which is very dope in my opinion that they made all of this and still included magsafe because life proof gets the hashtag every case need magsafe flipping over on the back uh nothing much you know man it says whatever it says built in screen protector for 360 degrees of protection all right so let's go ahead and slide it out like i said i did already take this case out and i will basically tell you exactly why here in a minute so here it is man this is going to be the life proof fray case now i know some of you like t why in the world would i need a bulky case like this listen this case is for very niche kind of selection of people all right of course we already know our phones out there these days are waterproof they have the ip68 rating so they can get submerged underwater a little bit when you're talking about different elements of salt water different things like that you don't want your phone in those elements man so if you're going to a pool if you want to be just on vacation you're overall protected you might have a few drinks too many of those little drinks and you're around some water then this is something that you may want to have to protect your phone and give you that waterproof capability as well so i know a lot of people are going to ask why when we have ip68 devices that's the number one reason why all right so yes it's going to be bulky because this thing serves a purpose but as soon as you see it the first thing that you see is those magsafe rings now this is going to be a two-part case so let's go ahead and pop it apart real fast all right so this is going to be a two-part case, all right? Now, when it comes to the front piece, this does have a built-in screen protector. Now, I have already moved, removed my Timberglass screen protector, man. And that's because I rock with y'all, man. I got to install a whole new fresh screen protector, but I removed it so we can check out how responsive the actual touchscreen is in this screen protector right here. So the front does have a built-in screen protector. And as you can see, this is something that the phone sits in. But when it comes to this side, as you can see, this is going to be the back side. That's going to be protection around those cameras, as you can see how it's laid out right there. And you see that little blue seal that's going all the way around it. That's going to be able to keep the water up out of this bad boy. And you can see that it does have mag safe. Now, the instructions before you get this case, they tell you to submerge this thing in water for up to 30 minutes before you actually even do this because they want to make sure there's no, no leaks or anything going on. But I submerged mine for like an hour and a half and there were it was completely drowned inside all right so do we definitely have a good case we don't have anything to worry about all right so let's go ahead and get into this case right here man we don't really need to weigh it because this thing has a purpose this is not really minimal or anything like so it's not really much to weigh it made out of your plastic type material as you can see here you get a little bit of life proof branding there and we'll get into the buttons and everything once we pop the case all up in here all right so let's go ahead and how we do this bad boy all right Let's go ahead and put it in. See, put it in wrong. <laughs> Let's put the front end first, put it face down with the screen protector. So make sure you put that front end and then you're gonna go and pop this back on and make sure you, one thing important with this case, make sure it is sealed and popped on all around it. Or this case is not gonna be effective in doing what it needs to do, all right? So here is the case looking at it, all right? So on this top side, it's basically gonna be completely closed. And let's get in talking about these buttons. So volume up and down, you can hear that, very tactile buttons. But when it comes to the mute toggle switch, this is gonna be a twist type of apparatus. So you have to really, as you can see here, it says silent mode on and then silent mode right there off so you got to twist it to you can hear it activate so it's kind of a twist button really hard to kind of get your finger in there and twist it but it's something that you got to get used to over time once again this isn't made for everyday use man this is made for certain scenarios when you need to use it for but it does work once you kind of figure out it has like a little 
knob here for your fingernail, but it's kind of best to just rotate it because the little rotating wheel does have little bitty grips up there. So volume up and down works just fine. Now, when it comes to the bottom ports down here, you see that they are covered up, of course, because it's going to be for waterproof safety reasons only. But if you do want to charge it, you can just pop that open and you see that lightning port is down in there. And as you can see that this lightning port is sealed to protect that water and anything from getting up in there. So that's a nice little touch right there. And take a look at the power button. As you can see, the power button is just fine. Nice and tactile. Have to press them just a little bit harder than what you would normally do, but nothing bad at all. And take a look at that camera protection. I mean, do we even have to talk about the camera protection? You kind of already see what's going on when you do that. So let's go ahead and talk about, we don't even gotta talk about lay on tail protection. Like this is not a standard case review that we're gonna do. Let's go over a little bit of different things when I do these type of cases. So don't really gotta talk about lay on tail protection. You already see there is no timber glass cream set up here, but I do wanna be able to see how touching this feels. Now I don't, I have my phone in airplane mode right now, but honestly, there is not a big gap in between this screen when you're pressing it and interacting with the phone. And that's pretty good to see. So when you're pressing something, you don't really have to worry about it, you know, doing much. I mean, this feels good in my opinion. Like it doesn't make it feel like there's a big gap. There is actually no gap between the screen and what this case has going on. So this is that definitely not something hard to use. If you did wanna use this like permanently while you were on vacation, I think you can do it because the touch is there and it doesn't feel bad at all. So good job life proof about making this not feel like there's an air pocket between the actual, you know, screen and the phone itself. Good job for doing it like that. Now, when you're talking about the fit on it, the thing that I check for is the thing, if this creaks or does anything like that while in this case, and I'm not feeling any creaks, I'm not feeling anything. This thing feels solid when it's in there. It feels very good and it does not feel like it's gonna pop off. Of course, this has a hard snap case. I mean, this thing is waterproof, so you can expect the fit to be good on a man. I think LifeProof did a very good job because I don't feel any creaks or no loose points or anything that could be weak or thought of about questioning when you're talking about this case, man. So good job, life proof when it comes to that. Now, we're not really gonna talk about the fit because I just told you, man, this thing fits like is super tight on the phone. You already know what type of case this is. But one thing that we do wanna test is MagSafe because it works with MagSafe, which is crazy. I would never think a phone that serves this purpose will still also have MagSafe on it. So life proof, yeah, I'll did yourself with that one, man. So it definitely has MagSafe. Now, when you're talking about the MagSafe strength, Eh, definitely a little bit more on the weaker side. Definitely isn't going to win any awards, man. Definitely has a weaker MagSafe strength, but it works just fine with MagSafe, and I'm pretty sure it will work just fine with all of your MagSafe accessories. And speaking of MagSafe accessories, let's go ahead and bring it for you over here. Apple battery pack, as you can see here, works just fine. It is charging the device. Eh, has a, you know, it stays in there. You know, it's typical. Like most cases, when you shake it, it's not going to pop off on its own. It feels like it's pretty stable up there. You don't got nothing to worry about. And if you just so happen to want to use the wallet case with this, I don't know who's going to do this combo, but if you want to do it, then that's an option that you have right here. So time to get to the time that everybody time to get to the time. Yeah. Time to get to the part where I'm pretty sure if you, if you guys are wondering about, and let's just bring this water over here. Y'all just hold on and let me grab. Uh, all right. Let me grab this water right here and let me bring that here. And... Let me also grab a little towel just in things get a little messy. We got a little bit of towel on deck just in case we got to do some cleaning up. So this is just regular water, man, regular sink water. But we're going to go ahead and pop this thing in there and uh, see what it's about. So here we go, man. There it is. So we're going to pop that in there. We're going to turn the screen on. And there y'all go, man. iPhone 13 Pro with the life proof case submerged up in the water because I did do the water test. So it definitely survived the test of actually just putting the case in there. But I wanna just show you guys with it submerged in there that you don't have anything to worry about. Let me go ahead and pop it open via Face ID real fast. And uh, let's see, we can get this Face ID popping real fast. It's hard to do when the water's on it and it's trying to, all right, there we go. Let's do this. Let's put the display on real quick so it doesn't go to sleep fairly quick. So you can kind of just make sure that it's all good. We're going to leave it in here for like a minute and then we're going to go ahead and do it. We're not going to leave it kind of like full time in there. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's cut the camera on. Let's cut the face front of the face camera on and just go ahead and drop it in there like that. So what that camera is basically looking at is, uh, you see it right here. It's looking at my mic. So the camera is on while this is in the water. And yeah, I'm not worried about a thing. I know some people are like, what in the world? Why would you put this in the water? But guess what? 
You don't got anything to worry about when it comes to this case, man. That is what this case is built for. So if you want to put this thing in the water, this does submerge up in the water. Now, I'm not sure all of the specs. I will let you guys look that up. But if you need somewhere, if you're going to a pool or something like that, and this thing happens to have an accidentally oops, and it drops in the water, you got it covered, man, with this right here, and you will definitely be good to go. So this video is not going to be 10, 15 minutes extra from this point on just letting this thing sit in the water. I wanted to show you guys that you can just drop it in the water real quick. If this so happens to be this far, maybe this is in the bottom of the pool, by this point, I feel like somebody should have came and grabbed your phone right now and got it out. But let's go ahead and take it out. Once again, this is fully submerged. You can put it face down. I don't know which way you want me to put it. We can let it sit here for a few seconds so you can check it out. But these tests are always fun on a channel because I'm, I'm not afraid to submerge this, man, because I trust this case. I have used this case before. I have seen other people use this case, and I trust it. We flip it over the camera. It's still going to be fully on, all right? So... Let's go ahead and dry my hands. Let's go ahead and bring the towel over here. Let's take the phone out. All right, let's put that there. Let's go ahead and remove this water. God knows, please don't let me spill it because I'm on carpet. Oh, and I spilled some. Great. <laughs> let's go ahead and cut the phone off right here. Let's dry the case out on the outside. All right, so let's go ahead and dry it all off. Dry it all off, dry it all off on the outside. As of course, everything is working just fine. There's no issues, as you can see here. Everything is just fine. Let's go ahead and power that off. Let's pop it out the actual case. And so you can see what's going on. And here is the iPhone 13 Pro. Not wet at all, completely dry while it is in that case. So, yeah, man, let's go ahead and slide this over right here. This is going to be uh, your life proof. Frey, free, free. I'm pretty sure it's free. I'm pretty sure that's, your, that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, that's going to be it for the iPhone 13 Pro. Now, I'm not sure what the price point of this is, but you already know the use case of this bad boy, so you know it's going to be a little bit more on that expensive side. But this serves a very good purpose if you do need this use case when it comes to this. But as you can see, it works just fine, man. Totally worth it if you need that heavy duty protection and you also want some of that waterproof, just the peace of mind when you go out there and uh, get you one. So you already know the links to these bad boys will be down below. The links will let you know what iPhone model that this covers and go out there and grab yourself one and, and get your vacation on with a little bit of peace of mind. But Technical T, I'm getting out of here, man. Make sure you do all the YouTube things. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, but definitely make sure you hit that bell so you get notified about each and every day that I drop these uh, case videos for either iPhone or Android devices. But yo, everyone, please be safe out there. Catch you on the next one. Later.